And welcome back to another episode of Art Back Gaming. It's been a little few weeks since I've uploaded a video, and I'm sorry about that. Um, we had an addition to our family. Um, my son Felix was born in December, actually December 23rd, so just the day before uh, Christmas Eve, which is very cool. So I've been a little busy with that and then the holidays happened and now finally I'm getting some time again. So I'm back to recording videos. As for the Let's Play world, I'm over here getting some terracotta to start planning out the next build part of the build for the village. And that's going to be where I reside and start building some of the farms and other things we need to get a little farther in this world instead of just being completely early game so we're just gonna get a little bit more terracotta here and head back over to the village All right, back at the village. I laid out a little bit and oh gosh, that's pretty tall. So we're thinking about doing a palace up here on the hill or where the hill was, but still on top of the hill from the village, a palace for all the stuff I'm gonna need. So we're laid out with a wall and some buildings in the middle. We're gonna kind of do it like a true palace that would have a full wall around the outside and then inside would be a bunch of the buildings and stuff for the palace people. So we're gonna put this wall all the way around. Most of this whole area that we cleared out will be this whole area for us to make different farms and storage areas and other buildings we're gonna need for in gaming this world. And we're gonna do it all nice and themed and all match. And then up front here is gonna be a nice big double gate. Aesthetic, it's not gonna work, but aesthetic. And it's gonna look pretty nice, I think. And I'm gonna try and do it pretty tall, but not too tall that it overpowers the rest of the, the city below. It's gotta be a balance. Now I'm kind of need some dyes and unfortunately we're still early game so I don't have much so we're here in one of the grasslands kind of by where we came into this area and I'm getting some blue dye. I believe these flowers are called corn something, corn something flowers. Um, so but they are blue dye when you make them into dyes so that is what we need is some blue dye. I don't need you seeds, go away. There seems to be some more over here. Well, while we're here, we'll get some red flowers. Flowers, flowers. So I'm thinking of doing a blue or cyan accent color. And to get cyan, we need green and blue to make cyan and the blue flower is the blue and cyan is cactus so I have a bunch of cactus already in the furnace um, cooking to make the green dye it's over here just yellow I'm not gonna get yellow right now so that's what these are for but then I also want some light blue ones to see my options what my options are so we're gonna jump down in the swamp here in a sec and get some light blue too. I think that's all those. Okay, there's some light blue over there. I forget what these ones are called. Just checking around, make sure there's nothing that could get me. Okay, get some of these guys. 
thought I went the wrong way. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. So here's what I'm thinking for the theme for this palace. We're of course going to stick to all the sandstone variants. Smooth sandstone, and chipped sandstone, and chisel sandstone, and regular sandstone. Um, there's the stripped wood that's close to, but I'm not quite sure if it's really going to work. But I need an accent color, and this is where we're stuck, because the only accent colors around here are dark green, lime green, and blue. That's like the only other colors around here, because it's a desert. So... I was kind of going off one of those, and this is what I got, these four. This is green concrete. This one is green terracotta, which I don't like. It's too, too grungy. This is cyan on the bottom. This is light blue concrete. These are both concrete. And then I, I like them better. Now this is white terracotta. It's junk. It, it's pink, let's be honest, it's not white. This is white concrete, which is white, not whatever terracotta is. And then we got the burned terracotta versions that we'll use for some decorative place, placeholders here and there. So we'll definitely be using those. But as for the color, yeah, I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling the greens. They're just too dark, and the light greens are too light. So no, I'm not gonna do the greens. And I think it's going to be cyan. I think it's going to be cyan and white will be our theme colors for this build. So cyan and white it is. Concrete's fairly easy to make. I'll just need to find some gravel. I got plenty of sand, that's for sure. But I'll need to find some gravel and then just dye it. So that'll be good. So over here, this is where I was making the concrete, but I've started working on the fence line and I've been laying out the wall and where all the towers will be and all the concrete, all the sandstone that will be laid out. And then this wall over here I have completed for now. And it's got two of the full towers on it, the watch towers. Um, and we got the accent color up top, which is really nice. I kind of like, I really, I'm gl glad we went with cyan. It looks really good. And it'll be like accent on most of the stuff. And then we got some spruce um, trapdoors and spruce logs, spruce fence posts. But the terracotta color up top is pretty good. And then that's just cyan wool up top. And I haven't done anything with in the inside of the building yet, but we'll definitely put a staircase or something there. Make it look good. And then the wool up top is being held up by string. If you don't know that trick, it's a pretty nice one. So, so this is kind of what the wall looks like. It's kind of tall, but I think this whole build's going to be pretty tall. So it all worked together and it'll feel really nice. Then I've also laid out my first one of the first rooms, which is storage, and where all the chests will be. Uh, I'll probably go three high with the chest, but I didn't have enough wood at the moment. And speaking of not having enough, we're kind of running out on sandstone supplies. So I'm going to have to grind to get more sandstone because that's all I got left and I got a lot more wall and stuff to do so but these are looking good I really like them now from the front side or the outside of the wall um, they're a little flat a little plain uh, it's just two windows on each face and I want the trap door on top but I think they look good for now and I'm not going to spend too much time on them until I get it all laid out um, most everything laid out and then if I want to go back and put more detail in I will do that but for now these are pretty good and for being early game I think this will be good enough like I said we can always go back and do more detail on them later I'm just gonna step away for a minute and walk away from the build and take it's always good to take a look at the build from a distance to see what it looks like I see it looks pretty good. Like the height of those towers, the watchtowers, is good. It's just higher than the village tower. And it just looks like it's looming over the rest of the village, which is good, but not too much. 
The gate though does look a little too big. So I might take that down a couple notches. It might be too big because I don't want it bigger than the watchtower. Watchtower, so that'll go down a little bit. But yeah, I'm really, I think it'll look nice once it gets all up. You'll have, you have the nice blue color up there in the palace and then the dingier terracotta color down in the village. So that'll be pretty good. Well, that's about it for today's video. Unfortunately, um, a short one today, but just to catch you up on where things are at in my life and in the Let's Play. Bye.